Hey there, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Ram and Ram 1500 headquarters. Today I'm going to show you two of the new options for the 2021 Ram. Um, and they are part of the technology group, as you can see here on the window sticker. You've got the technology group, which is a $1,095 option, it gives you head up display and rear view auto dimming digital display mirror. Um, and I'm going to show you how those work and what they are, and we have a 2021 Ram Rebel Crew Cab Night Edition. This is a level two, so it's gonna have the uh, navigation system and everything on it. Um, so we're gonna hop inside here and I'll show you what that head up display is all about, as well as the um, rear view mirror that's also a camera. So first we're gonna turn the ignition on so you can see what's going on. And then I'm gonna turn the lights on so that dims there. So the head-up display is actually a speedometer display that's in your windshield. It's right there, which is really cool. Now, there's a couple different things you can do with that right now. You can see it gives you the speed limit, the current speed that you're going, and then the um, near South Rolling Meadows Drive so it's kind of linked with the navigation system as well anyways how do you adjust that how do you edit that it's in the control panel here so you're gonna go want to go up to the cog wheel which is under 8 in settings and it actually took me a little bit to find because it defaults to the screen setup you're gonna want to click right on your controls right here to get to the heads up display settings and then you can adjust the brightness. You can adjust if it's on or off, so you can turn it off and on. So if you do the brightness right now, I have it on as bright as it goes, and you can dim it down to um, basically so you can hardly see it. But for this video, we're gonna put it back up to 10 so that we can see everything on there. Then you hit okay to save the setting. The next one you can do is this display height. So right now I have it in as low as it goes and you can adjust it so it goes up on the windshield. And that's at 10 as high as it goes. But once again, for this video, we're gonna put it down as low as it goes. And then you can change the content and layout. So right now we're on standard. This is simple, this is advanced, and then this is custom. So cool stuff there. And then uh, once again, you can just turn that off. Right now it's on, turn it off, and then it's gone. So lots of cool stuff that you can do on there. And then the second one is that camera, that's the rear view mirror. So right now it is in camera mode, which is pretty cool. So that's actually a camera representation uh, video of what's going on behind you. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull out of the studio here so we can actually be driving and I can show you what that camera does while you're driving. Now if you want your regular mirror, you can just flip it down like so and you have the regular mirror there. But to turn it on, you go like that. And then I think you can actually, if you press the button down here, you can adjust the settings as far as brightness and dimness. And then uh, you can also tilt it. So if you want it up higher, you can do that, tilt it down. So really cool stuff there, you get a dim and then a tilt. But I'm gonna pause the video and then we're gonna drive outside and I'm gonna drive around a little bit while showing you that mirror, it's pretty cool. So hold tight. All right, we're back outside now and uh, I'm just gonna drive down our lot here so that you can see how that camera works. It's actually kind of, it's very different just because it's new and I've never used it before. Um, but just driving the trucks around the lot you can see it's just like a rear view mirror, except it's a video of what's going on behind you. Um, but still, really a, a neat thing. You can see that we got a lot of trucks here for sale at Summit Auto. And uh, turn here so you can see. You can see it's just different. Now, like I said before, you can flip it on the fly to the normal rear view mirror but it just gives you a more clear picture of exactly what's you know behind you and a little bit wider 
view, I think. Um, and it's a little bit clearer. So anyways, those are the two no options, the two new options on the 2021 Ram that I wanted to show you today. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And you can check us out anytime at www.summitauto.com or youtube.com slash summitauto. Thanks again for checking out the video.